Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me when you could be doing literally anything else. Last one we left off, I had gotten a volume wheel installed in this Game Boy Advance, and it wasn't working too well because the alignment was um, really shitty. I think I got that fixed now. I got some new PCBs in from Oosh Park, and uh, I don't know, they're looking pretty good. See if we can't get one installed. I already went ahead and desoldered this. It's kind of a pain in the butt because of how I designed the PCB. You have to somehow manage to desolder six points simultaneously, but um, it was long. There was lots of swearing involved, but I uh, eventually got it without managing to lift any pads or completely destroy anything, so I'll call that a mission success. All right. Set this stuff aside here. So here's where we are. Uh, you can see this time I actually did print out a uh, paper template and I left that in there because of the flux residue. But here is the new PCB. We'll put that side by side the old one. You can see this on the bottom here. You can see how much smaller that back portion is. Should be good. There should even be a nice little cutout for that resistor. Oh my god, it actually fits. I did not expect that to fit. It could be a little bit bigger. But, uh, that's what the file is for. dangerous because you want to make sure you don't solder to that resistor. I don't know what it does, but it's probably not related. We also don't want to completely destroy this pad. Because we do need to solder to it. All right. That's better, and that was so much easier than taking a little bit off the top with the Dremel. Plus, we don't need this tape down there anymore. I'm going to leave it, though, because it's easier. But first, I'm going to desolder this wheel from this PCB. Easier said than done. I lifted two pads, but I don't really give a shit about that PCB. Alright. Gotta actually put these back to where they're supposed to be. Gotta make this video quickie because, uh, battery on my phone is almost dead and the memory card's almost full double whammy oh shoot I think this thing's broken yep okay well that was a waste of time don't worry I have more I still use that for something else, just not for this. Okay. Brand new wheel. Gotta cut these off. Gotta solder that down.
I should tin all of those. literally just propping this up on something so I can solder this flush it's not going well though I would make this easier using this All right. So now it should be soldered down like that. Let's get this installed. Trying to make sure this is positioned so that all of the pads line up. There we go. Hopefully, I don't have to desolder it again. In hindsight, I shouldn't have soldered all of the pads, but fuck it. There's no way it's going to not work again, right? All right. Hey, I got sound. can't adjust it because this wheel is stuck against the battery. <laughs> there we go. It adjusts, so that's, that's good. All right. Yeah, see, that's holding the battery in. <laughs> okay. So we should be good to just press that down. And realistically, I should touch up the solder on all the back of these. So 
it looks like it got all cracked and nasty and since this is somewhat structural I need it to not be all cracked and nasty oh shoot I'm not having a good night I just shorted those out There it goes. Now it looks nice. If all goes well, and it didn't, this lines up, but it didn't again. Shoot. I messed that up again. I really thought I had it this time. It's still sticking out. I'm thinking the easiest solution in this case. solution but I ain't making a third PCB See if it rubs now. Sorry, that was probably really loud on camera. Shit, it does. What the hell? Oh, my problem was never the front, it's the back. Shoot. It's these ribs right here because this thing sits higher up than when I had it soldered flat. This PCB makes it a little bit more difficult. We need to cut these down. I'm actually going to go trim these down on the Dremel uh, so that I can make them nice and flat. I'll be right back. All right, I would have liked if I could get away with not doing that, but I think that was probably for the best. I'm blown right by the camera again. Okay, I think we should be good now. I would have liked to avoid doing that, but... I don't know that there was any alter... There we go. It's still rubbing just a little bit somewhere. But I think it's good.
I think it's the last time I will be taking this Game Boy Advance apart. Well, until I install a headphone jack or something. I don't know. It's on my list. It's a ways away, though. So I'll go ahead and upload a link, or I'll upload the PCB and post a link to it if you want to make your own. I really don't recommend it unless you have no other choice. In my particular case, I just can't get this stupid volume pot for SPs anymore. It's plastic everywhere. Let's play. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And it's, uh, this is opposite to the direction that, uh, Game Boy Color would be, so it actually matches the um, text on the shell there. Yeah! I think that works out pretty nicely. It does stick out quite a bit. A little bit more than I intended, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. I think there's a workaround by just soldering it more towards the inside might investigate that at some point, but otherwise, I think this works nicely, and I'm super happy with that. So, uh, yeah, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I do read the comments. Have a good night, guys.